back for another episode of the old Kibosh. Kibosh show, episode 18. The last episode was a little short, a little funky. We apologize for that, obviously. Obviously. I mean, we got to quit having those. I mean, technical, technical issues. It's just, it's a so constant it's, fear. Now I'm going to be, in, I'm going to live in fear now. I mean, I'm just, I, I expect now that every week we're going to have some bullshit happen. That's honestly what it feels like, dude. Why just, why can't we just have success? We're just not supposed to, I guess. Oh my gosh. It bugs me, dude. I mean, yeah. But you seem like you're trying to figure something out over there. No, I'm just kind of look. I'm just looking at some news stories, and thought, there's some there's some weird news out there. I thought you were saying you were going to say you were just looking at some nudes. Yeah, I mean, I know you'd love to look at those. Uh, yeah, I figured it probably wouldn't be the right time while we're recording kiboshed. No, probably not. But, but I mean, listen to this story real quick. The headline here is accused hit and run driver drove with a victim's body for 40 miles before stopping, meaning hit the person and just dragged the person, I guess. Like the person was just hanging on for 40 miles. Is that right? I guess. Is this in Florida? No. It seems like a Florida story. There's this also down south for sure. There's also this man arrested after allegedly molesting manatee statue at Florida restaurant. Of course, it's a Florida. Man. Of course. I mean, what's <laughs> this is? This is Mr. Anthony Lessa. He's 23. Tossed deep fried gator nuggets into the restaurant after being asked to leave, but he's sec- he's allegedly molesting a manatee statue. I I don't even I don't even know what to say. I about guess that. I know. I guess I know what that means, but. I don't want to. I don't know think what to. About I don't that. know what to say about it. So what is he? You know, he's molesting a manatee statue. So what's he doing in your mind? Like, I what's mean, the thing well, that pops into mind? I feel like he's probably like dry humping the. Thing. Yeah, that's what I, I was know. thinking. I was thinking this. He's he's in front of the mouth and he's doing one of these. <laughs> he's probably doing a. Uh, <laughs> uh, and he's uh, probably on TikTok doing it. What's his name? Robert. Robert. What's the dude's name from? Uh, um. <laughs> hot rod oh you yeah. don't do anything <laughs> oh don't I? what's that guy's name is that robert um, um r- that's not rod no the dude that that, that chinese dude was like he's where he's like hey dude get out of the pool you're being a tool and he's like <laughs> he's like there's no tool in this pool <laughs> Jeff is it jefferson you know what i'm talking I about yeah, but i can't remember his name now I can't think. That's what that's what I'm thinking of. He's probably yeah. He's doing one of these yeah. right to the manatee. You know. Yeah. I mean, that's honestly that's exactly what he's doing. So I mean, there's just some wild people out there. It's wild, isn't it? I don't know. I like looking at weird news. Yeah, weird news is fun. What about NFL news? Playoffs wrapped up tonight. Any surprises? What are your big I surprises? I think there's plenty of surprises. I think the Eagles are just a. I mean, they're a shit show of a team. They're is it, terrible. Is it blow it up? I think they probably look for something other than Jalen. Wow. I mean, you saw what he did. I saw, and I've known that Jalen was a bum. Yeah, but people think he's the real deal, or they did this year. How would they start off? They went like ten and one. Yeah, they were ten and one. They finished eleven and five. Eleven and six. They lost five straight. Six. So this was their sixth loss in a row. Yeah, they looked unstoppable. By the way. Well, the first 11 games. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. First 11 games, unstoppable Super Bowl favorite. Who was their first loss to? Oh, that's, uh, I weirdly want to say the, like the Dolphins or something. Well, so good team. Yeah. Who also was a surprise. I mean, I, th- I, I thought. Mean, shit the bed in the cold. Yeah, but I thought Kansas City was beat them because they were in the cold. But they didn't even. I mean, Dolphins put up seven points. I mean, it's seven degrees. Negative seven. No, I don't. wasn't wasn't that cold. It was. I thought it was negative four. Well, okay, negative four is close enough. Well, you had that extra three, and you really you can hardly can move. But wind chill with wind chill, it was like negative 20, 22. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you're talking wind chills. With the feels like. Do you, always, do you go off the feels like, or do you go off the legit 10? I mean, you go off the legit, but if you're there, you go off the feel. If you're in the, yeah, if you're yeah, in the situation. If you're in the environment. Yeah, you're, you're going off the feels like. Okay, any other surprises? 
I mean, I wasn't surprised that the Chiefs won. I wasn't surprised the no. Bills won. No. I wasn't surprised. I was that, actually surprised how close the Bills game was. Well, yeah. it was it was close for a minute. And Twenty-one they, nothing. Yeah, and then they you know they lost it. Right, but then because I think that what did they end up winning thirty. What was this thirty-four to? No, I thought was it was. It? Was it thirty? I thought it was twenty-eight to eighteen or something. For a minute, right at the end, the the Steelers were within what like three points. They got within a touchdown. Thirty-one seventeen. Yeah, thirty-one. So it was 24-17. Yeah. Then they were, drove down and stuck it in. That's what you want to do. That is what you want to do if the time presents itself. Yeah, so I wasn't surprised by the Bills. I wasn't surprised by the Chiefs. I wasn't surprised by who else played. Were you surprised by the Lions? No. no. It was uh, kind of close. It was a little close. I mean, Stafford had them there with a chance, and they just couldn't get the ball back. He comes running out of that tunnel and he gets booed in Detroit. Yeah, which is unfortunate for he's him. He's got he's got every record in Lions history. But they don't passing. want him. No, they don't want to see him. He wasn't. They pro- were probably scared of him. That's why they booed oh, him. Oh yeah, probably scared of him. I mean, you had to be scared. It's your first playoff game in home in thirty years. You got Puka Nakua breaking rookie records in the playoffs. <sighs> he's so damn. He's honestly. Can I just say this? You're probably going to say something like he's a top five wide receiver in the league. No, well, not. I'm not going to say that, but okay, I am going to say he's the best receiver on that team. Better than Cooper, huh? That's what I'm saying. I mean, you might get some shit for that, but. And what I, I'm also saying is that Cup is no well, longer a top five receiver. Yeah, I, well, I think you got to take, because of his injuries, I think you got to take him out. But I think you also got to say that maybe Stafford, because of Cooper Cup's injuries, really figured out how he liked throwing to Puka. So maybe it's just more if he preferred throwing to Puka over Cooper. I mean, what's the size difference there? Because Cup seems small now that I watch I him. I bet you it's not that big of a difference. Like, what do you figure I would bet you Cup like, is like? What is Cup? Is he six foot? I would guess Cup is like – I would guess he's taller now. I'd guess he's – um. so Puka is 6'2". I bet you Cup is 6'2". So they're the same size, basically. Of course, this one doesn't show his height. <laughs> I mean, geez. I mean, just show me his damn height. Yeah, they're both 6'2". Okay. What about pounds? I mean... Puka must have pounds on I him. I mean, Cup's 208. Let's get the old back button to work there. <laughs> and let's see, you got... Puka's, I bet you Puka's 230. 225. Puka's 205. They're three pounds. They're like the same They're player. the same body. Puka's just years younger. Yeah, he's just a, he's a rook. He's just a baby. I mean, the dude's what, 22 years old? 22 or 23. I mean, he's out of Provo, Utah. <laughs> Orem, I think. No, Provo, Utah. I'm oh. reading it right here. Oh, wow. One thing I didn't know was actually that um, watching – well, okay, the, here's a game that I was kind of surprised by. Um, you're wearing them. Yeah. I was a little surprised. I was – I, yeah, I think everyone's surprised. I think oh, everyone absolutely. thought Dallas was going to beat them and beat them pretty soundly. But on the other hand, Green Bay beat them very soundly. It was a bloodbath. Absolutely. Like they rolled over them. Totally. I mean, they rolled Dallas onto their backs. Yeah. And just. They had their way with them. We'll say that. Yeah. I'm not going to get into details. But no um, what was I going to say about that? I was going to say. Um, okay, let's play a game. I'm going to say. I'll say a quarterback. You tell me. In the going forward, if you'd rather have Jordan Love or that quarterback. Okay, but real quick, what I was going to say was I didn't know Jake Ferguson went to Bingham High School. Did he? Yeah. He went off yesterday. He's good. I didn't know he was out of Utah. Three tutties. Yeah. 100 yards. He's nice. And Ten he's a, catches. I went to Bingham High School. I didn't know he was a Bingham High School alum. Is that right? Just, where did, he, where did, he, did he go to Utah? So or here's where the thing, he though. He went, he was in, no, Oregon? so he was in, B, he went to Bingham. And I guess before college, he transferred and finished like his senior year in Wisconsin, oh. a school, a high school in Wisconsin. And then he played college ball at Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Sconce. Yeah, Sconce. He's a Badger. <laughs> okay. All right. So give me some. Okay, you tell. I'm going to give you a player. I'm going to give you a quarterback. You tell me if you'd rather have him or Jordan Love. Yeah. Jalen Hurts. Jordan Love. Okay. I mean, you tell me at the beginning of the season, the first. 11 games, I'm just saying Jalen Hurts. Right. The last seven games, don't even show up. So that's enough for you to say, I'd rather build my franchise around Jay Love. Yeah, look what Jay Love's done the last 
six games. Okay. Unstoppable. He's the best in the league. I mean, passer rating the best. Literally. Um, all right, Deshaun Watson. He hasn't played, so I can't take Deshaun. I take Jalen. Okay. Brock Purdy. He had a shot at the MVP until he played the Baltimore Ravens. I'd probably take Brock Purdy over Jalen. What about over Jay Love? Oh, we're talking – yeah, that's right. Yeah. Over Jalen, not Jalen. That's – I mean, I don't know. What would you do? I take Jay Love. Well, yeah, but you're biased. I maybe, but he, the you're physical, biased. Maybe, but the physical tools over Brock Purdy is not. It's night and day. Oh, it's night and day. He's a, Jay he's, Love's a, a specimen. Yeah, he's bigger, stronger, faster. Throws a better ball. He throws off his back foot like he's Aaron Rodgers. Like it's nothing. It's like he's been doing it his whole career. He slings. He slings into those tight windows. He likes things tight. Who wouldn't? Can't blame him for that. <laughs> Okay, Matt Stafford. He's a very proven – he's proven what he can do. He's got a ring. He's got records. He's got rings. Records and rings. And yet <laughs> – And yet he can't beat Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions. Wow. So you're taking J-Love. I would too, by the way. Now, that one's tricky because – you got to take it based off of age. Yes. That's Stafford's why. done in two, two yeah. or three years. He's got two Maybe three years. four. Maybe. But, yeah, duh, this is J-Love's first actual season as a quarterback. Right. All right. Here's a tricky one. Lamb Jack. I say Lamb Jack. <laughs> you can't take J-Love over Lamb Jack. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe not. No, you can't. But it's build. The case is building. I don't think you can. Okay, here's another one. Dak. I would. Me too. Sorry, Dak. You're overrated. Sorry. Overpaid, overrated. I mean, you've got probably – you might, I mean, you definitely put him in the top five wide receivers in the game. You mean quarterbacks? No, I'm saying oh, he's CD. got he's got a top five wide receiver sure. in the game. Maybe top three. That's what I'm saying. And you can't get him the ball in the playoffs. <laughs> I mean, you're terrible. <laughs> I'd take J Lo over over Dak because I also think very over overrated. Yeah. And what are they paying him a year? Well, he's, he, he's due for a contract extension. Most people are projecting 50. But he's making 30 plus. I think he makes 30 this year. It's too much. Okay. Here's another tough one. Baker Mayfield. Baker boy. Yeah. I mean, he just took down Jalen. But we just talked about how bad Jalen yeah, is. I know. So. No, I'm take, it's, it's not even a question. You take J-Love over Baker Mayfield. Obviously. Okay, here's a tough one. Jared Goff or J-Love? Because Jared Goff's not that old. He's got plenty of season Yeah, he's left. got plenty. Of, he's got 10 at least. But here's the thing. I mean, you just look at – I'm looking at it. I'm looking at athleticism and, and um, how young he is. Yep. J-Love is young and very athletic. Yep. I'm taking over a lot of guys right now. Oh, yeah. There's only a few where you're not taking them over Patty. You're not taking them over Josh Allen. You're not taking them over Joey B. You're no. not taking them over Justin Herbert. No. You're not taking them over Joe Flacco. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not taking them over Lamb Jack. You're not taking them over but Lamb Jack. But I do Jack. think – I think you could make the case – that he's right at he's right with Herbert. It's him and Herbert are kind of right there in that second tier. I don't think you can say that yet. You don't think? We'll see what he does in the second round of the playoffs against <laughs> Brock Purdy. <laughs> if he wins that game, then you they're put, winning the oh Super Bowl. I'm just going to tell you that if they win this game, you they're think they winning. Beat Baltimore. I mean, if they played Baltimore in the Super Bowl, they're not take Lamb Jack and the Ravens are too if, good. If they beat if they beat 49ers, then most likely they're going to play the Lions because the Bucks are probably aren't going to beat the Lions. And I'm, that's tough. It's at home for the Lions. Sure, we kicked their ass on Thanksgiving. I don't know if you remember. I don't remember. It was but a, here, here's my thing. I, I'm, I'm all, I'm rooting for Jay Love. I think overall, I really am. Yeah, because I'm a Utah State Aggie. Right. I so you have the, to. I blocked the shit out of Jay Love. Right. Respect. Oh, yeah. I think Jay Love respects me. Absolutely. There's no way he does not remember that. <laughs> he remembers it, and he respects me, okay? Absolutely. He dapped me up after that. That's, I mean, he's like, nice shit. He did. He said, I didn't see you coming, dude. That's <laughs> good shit. So, yeah, I mean, I'm rooting for J-Love. You also want to see Detroit do something, because it's been, they've been just the sure. laughing stock of a yeah. franchise. By the way, 
I think that, that win yesterday, they've done. They've, they've already done, done yeah, something. Since 1992? One. It was 91. Yeah. So that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. But you've they've done something. Yes, now. Yeah, so now they've and done something. And I think something. they'll do something else. They're going to beat the Bucks, I think. I th- yeah, I think they take down the Bucks. So I'm rooting for J Love. I'm rooting for him. So you, th- what are the chance? Give me, give me a chance. Give me a percent chance the Packers can so, take down the Niners. So if they take down the Niners, then they got to take down, in theory, the Lions. Probably the Lions. Okay. Yeah. But well, just give me the chance that they can take down the Niners first. I mean, do you put that at 50? I gave him 40%. Okay. I give it 60 I can live 40. with that. That's fair. I'll live with that. He'll <laughs> take that. All day. What are you honestly? With being, That's where I think I'm at, too. Take out your biases. I might be a 55-45. 55 9 Yeah. Obviously. obviously. I mean, they're at home. That counts. That's something. I mean, they have CMC. <sighs> they got Debo. <sighs> They've got Bosa. They got Bosa. They got Warner. They're damn good. They're so damn good. I mean, they're loaded at every position. I mean, they got even Ayuk. Even Ayuk. They got Kittle. They've got Kittle. They're stacked. They're loaded. You're not. It's going to take a lot to go in there. But, hey, Dallas was stacked. I mean, Aaron Jones has been in his bag. He's in his bag. He's you 20, can't stop He's him. 20 for 100 automatic. You can't stop him. No. Gosh. Gosh. J-Love is dropping absolute dimes. I mean, he's throwing dots, dimes. I mean, they're all just right in their bread baskets. Okay, so let's let's talk through the. You, what do you like, Chiefs and Mahomes at Bills and Allen? I like Chiefs. You do? I do. Wow, I do. So I trust Patty. Really? I don't care who he plays. Okay, what do you give C.J. Stroud any chance against Lamb Jack? I like C.J. Stroud. I mean, he's good. He's rookie of the year. Identical stats to J. Love. He's good. He likes throwing that ball to Tank Dell. Yeah, Tank Dell and Nico Collins. Nico Collins are damn good. Wow. But you don't give him a chance to knock off. Do you, are you at a 60-40 there, too? Against Lamb I think Jack? you got to give that 70-30. I think so, too. Maybe even 75 I mean, hats off to CJ. Hats off. You're, you're, you were, they thought they were going to be in the top five pick. So damn You're good. in the second round. So damn you've good. You've already achieved. That's what I say about the Packers. You've already gotten more. Yeah, than, you've done what you've done. You've done it's better impressive. than anyone thought you would do. Anything. So why not? That's my thing is why not just go out there and shock the world? I mean, you might as well. Can we get a C.J. Stroud, Jordan Love Super Bowl? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, we can't, unfortunately. No, unfortunately. That would be phenomenal. I'd so, love to see that. So then who do you like? Ravens? Would would host the championship game against the Bills and your and your no against the Chiefs? <laughs> oh shit! The two best quarterbacks in the game. Or I do you know. put Josh above? I would put Josh above Lamb Jack personally. He just throws so many damn picks. I know, but yeah, he does. But you can't tackle him. You cannot. You can't him. touch Lamb Jack, but. but if, but you can't tackle if he's lowering right. your shoulder. Right. You're not going to take. But down. you can't catch Lamb Jack. That's the thing. You can't touch Lamb. Jack. But if you do, he's going down. Yeah, because he's not that. If you, t- yeah, if you can get him, he's going down. But Josh Allen's going to stiff arm the shit out of you. Yeah. Or he'll just body you. He'll put you in a body bag, as Kramer would say. <laughs> he's damn good. It's been. Um, it's a good. It's a good postseason. It's a great postseason so far. I'm excited to see the rest of it. And the jet- so what? So where's your – all right, so let's say the Niners win. So you got Niners hosting Lions. I got Niners. So you've got a Niners. If the Pack can't Rams, take down the Niners. you got another Niners-Rams It might be Bowl. a Niners – yeah. Niners what? Rams. Or not Rams, Ravens. I was going to say. Could be. That's that's from – when was that? 20 – You tell me, Brainiac. I don't 2017, remember. 2018. I mean, it could be. I doubt it. The it's never you, one versus well, one. Let me ask this: the, Do you think the Chiefs have a chance of getting back to the Super Bowl? Yeah. Do you think they take down Lamb Jack? They easily could take down Lamb Jack. But do you think they do? Is what the question is. Yeah. Obviously, Lamb. If, I do. if Patty Mahomes on the field, that team has a chance to win any game. Any game. So yeah, I do think they win. But I also think Allen beats Mahomes this year. So you think Patty would have a better chance against? Lamb Jack and the Ravens? Yeah. Weirdly. Why? I just think schedule wise, they just they played an easier schedule. So that's why they had a little bit better record. I mean, I don't know about that. I don't either. 
I mean, honestly, I'm not. You might look- be, I think you might be talking out of your ass. I might be. I'm not. I'm not looking at the schedule, the schedules. No. But that's what I know, and that's how I. That's what I feel. Okay. Well, if that's how you feel, there's nothing that we can do about it. <laughs> like, that's a. That's just that's the end of the debate. If if we're going off of feelings, and there's nothing to debate. No. That's a good, you can't change that. No, you can't. That's the end of the discussion. Yeah, it just ends right there. <laughs> That's like my guy Mike Berbiglia. He's a he's a comedian. He talks about that. His Does girlfriend he? always say his, they'd get they'd be they'd be debating or arguing something. She said, "But that's just how I feel." And he'd be like, "Okay, that's <laughs> it. That's the end of the discussion. What am I going to say to that? <laughs> can't change how you how you feel." Oh man. Well, we've got a loaded show. It's always loaded. Oh well, yeah, it's never not loaded. Where do you want to start? Um. All right, I think I want to start here, Jordan. I want you to guess the NBA number one overall pick. These are tough. They're not easy. All right, your MLB number one overall pick the same year was Brady Aiken. Doesn't even ring a bell. Right. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know who that is. He, he never made it. He never panned out. I'll just tell you. Your NFL number one overall pick was Jadavian Clowney. Jadavian Clowney. And your NHL champs or campeones were the kings of Los Angeles. Did you say the NHL champs? Yep. I gave you champs, not goal leader shit. Jadavian Clowney. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's an Eagles guy, right? Or am I thinking of the you mean, wrong guy? Who do you get drafted by? Uh, te- he's a Texans. Oh, he's a Texan. Yeah. But he's on. I think he's on the Titans this year. He's been on a couple teams over the last couple of years. Okay, let's think here. The number one overall draft pick this year, then. Yeah. You have I mean, some years floating around. I there? mean, uh, it's got to be. It's after it's it's got to be within the last ten years. I'm I'm, I'm feeling it's like around 2013, 2014. But who was the number one overall draft pick that year? I don't know. Right. I know you don't. But you've got something to work with. Yeah, I'm just gonna guess Andrew Wiggins. That's right. Okay, baby. That's I feel like you've guessed him a lot. It's about damn it's a, time he's the right answer. In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental. Man or woman, preferably woman. For you, yeah. To pump me up. Yeah. Okay, so this was 2014. That's correct. Who the hell is Brady Aiken? He's Who a drafted him? Um, I was like, probably the Royals. No. 2014? You want me to tell you? I'd, I'd like to know who took a shot on Brady Aikens and is just kicking themselves. Because <laughs> the dude's an absolute bomb. <laughs> um, he was an Astros. Remember, they sucked so bad for so long. They so had all bad. these number ones. Terrible. But, yeah, they didn't need him. So what What were your other clues you were going to give me? I was going to give you that. I was going to give you a top movie, Interstellar. The top of the top or know. one of the top? One of the top. And one of the songs was, I'm so fancy. Can you already know? In the that's a great. That's a, that's a banger. I G G Y. Who that? Who that? I love that. All right, that's good. I'm glad I got that. I don't want to get shot in the face Before tonight. We, can you just can you peek? Can you even see my phone to see if we're rolling still? I mean, do you have an angle? I don't have an angle. Well, I mean, don't sacrifice the integrity of the show, but I'm just curious. I'm just I just want to make sure. Guess we're going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, GGY. I mean, how's Who our Who but how's our audio? Audio's rolling. Okay. What should we do next here? Should we should we get into a uh, should we do a guessing scale? Yeah, actually, I was thinking that. You want to try that? Mm-hmm. Okay, you want me, me to take? You're gonna guess. I'll guess. Yeah. So let me get something here. Yeah. Why don't you get something there? Oh, oh, oh. Got it. All right. Guessing scale. You guess, I'll give you a number. That'll tell you where you're at. Okay. A watch. I'd give it about a 12. Mm. 
Is that something for you? I mean, I feel like you normally start me low, like a one or a two or a three. You give me a 12, that's something. That's something. Um, Pop-Tart. That's a damn good guess, dude. You're just, you're climbing quickly. Wow. Let me put you up in the 84 range. Oh, baby. Okay. Damn. Okay, here it comes. You're coming out swinging. Here it comes. You ready? Yeah. A muffin. (laughs) Incorrect. I'll give you a muffin at about a 36. Oh, what? You were really confident about that. Okay. You ready? Okay. Toaster strudel. Toaster strudel, you say. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Let's go ahead and knock you back up a few notches to the old 93. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Waffles. Egos. You're thinking ego warfles. Lego my ego. Those were great commercials. Oh, yeah. I'm going to knock you down a couple, but we'll put you in the 91 range. Oh, my gosh. Can I hit this? Can I hit what this is, though? Is the question? Is the question? I'm so fancy. Already I think, what does J Love eat for breakfast? <laughs> J Love eats nails, dude. Yeah, he does. And Wheaties. Well, Wheaties. He sprinkles them on top of his nails. They're, they're disgusting. Have you ever had Wheaties recently? I don't, I, don't, I don't think I've actually ever had a bowl of just Wheaties. What do you I mean? always wanted to because they always have the athletes right. on the covers or on the boxes. They have the Watt brothers on them right now. But what I do like is um, frosted mini wheats. Ooh, you do. I love those. Especially right before I go to bed. You ever tried any of like the strawberry or blueberry? Yeah, blueberry is always good. Is blueberry it? anything. You're a big blueberry Give me guy. a blueberry waffle. I mean, the, that's the right spot. Really? You take me to Waffle House. That's what you're getting. I'll get a blueberry waffle. What about like a Cracker Barrel? I I might get a blueberry waffle there. Wow. Usually you probably get like a country fried steak or though or something like that. Even if you go for breakfast, you still get the country yeah, don't you, fried. I mean, that's a breakfast. It is. I think it is. I'm not. A, I mean, I'm a big pancake guy. I love a pancake. I think you're stalling though. No. <laughs> <clears throat> Golly. I mean, what's in that? What's in that variety? Frozen. Or toasted. It's not Egos. It's not a Pop Tart. Um. Okay, give me an English muffin. <laughs> I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna kick you down to about an 85. Yeah, an 85. I, mean, I feel like that's fair. Yeah, honestly. Oh man, dude. Okay. Toast? Toast is damn close, dude. Oh. Wow. Oh. Let me give you a 98. Oh, my gosh. 98. I mean, you're just sniffing something right now. It's not toast, though. It's like toast, but it's not <laughs> toast. It's like toast, but it's not exactly toast. I, mean, I, feel, like you, I feel like you're just kind of honing. As we yeah, say. I'm honing, but it's like I'm I'm swinging it. I'm hit, I've hit the pinata a couple times, but I still don't know where it is. Right, that's probably a good analogy for this. It's a good visualization, <laughs> dude. It's not toast. Okay, you ready? Okay, you teeing something up here? Oh yeah, All right. I know what it is. I was overthinking it. Okay, go ahead. A Toaster. Bingo! One, two, three. Let's go. That's your best that's by a, far. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. I mean, you went straight from watch to Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart. You know why I went right to Pop-Tart? No. They have a value pack at Costco. We got it. So we've been eating a whole shitload of Pop-Tarts. They're good Varieties as hell. Varieties or just like a one one flavor? No, no, no. Variety. So what flavors? So can you go straw? Of course. Bloob. Of course. Cherry. 
Those are all damn good. Oh, I think yeah. I take blueberry every day, though. Oh, yeah. You know what's special about blueberry cherry to me is that growing up, it was strawberry every time. Oh, you didn't even have a choice. You, just like, choice. That's, you get That's what they had. That's what you get. So when you get a little bit a different fruit, yeah. but very similar. But very similar. Because the cherry is nice. It's, a little, it's got that darker frosting. Yeah. That red. Or what that, is it? Yeah. It's red. It's that red frosting. And your blueberry's blue. Obviously. It's good. <laughs> oh, man. You got toaster, dude. Oh, wow. And then I was like, what's 98 but toast? It's just, it has the word, but I'm, it's just a little longer. I almost gave you 99 on <clears throat> toast. Maybe I could, I probably could have. You could have. Because, I mean, toasters were built for making toast. Lit- and then they started thinking, we can also put other things in there. Yeah, literally. So I probably could have given you 99. Yeah, you could have. But I didn't. It worked. Speaking of Pop-Tarts... I believe Seinfeld's newest project he's working on is the Pop Tart movie, How It Was Invented. What do you mean? Like Seinfeld's, like his latest produ- producing project. He's producing movie something? he's making, yeah. You're talking he's Jerry. Talking Jerry. He's producing a movie about how the Pop Tart was invented. Yes. Do I want to watch that? Probably. I mean, Jerry make it? Yeah. That's a Jerry Seinfeld. By the way, we somehow we started the show without even mentioning you don't have the mullet anymore. That's true. I'm a new man. Not only do I don't do I not have the mullet, but I don't have any chin hair. Yeah, you've got nothing. You're completely clean. Here's the thing: my wife really wanted it to be gone. She wanted a new look. Okay, but by the way, it's a, just a new old look. It's cut well. Actually, I've never done this specific haircut. This is like a taper fade. Is that what they call it? Yeah. Usually, I've gone up a, like. Usually, you're usually like it's a, like very short all the, all the way, way around. Yeah, all the way up. But this is a so this taper is a little bit fade. different. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, Brad. Or my wife wanted me to go a little bit more Chris Hemsworth looky. And this is so. This I don't is know if this is really it, but I it's mean, kind of. I mean, he does a tape. He does. He does do a taper fade. He does. I feel like he's more of like a part, kind of along the side. You don't have no. A part. He doesn't really do that. Actually, is that right? No. <laughs> I can I feel sh- like his hair is a little longer I'll show on top you. too, I'll, like mine. I'll show you. Uh, In I'll fact, sh- I think I have really closer to Hemsworth hair than you do at this point. Well, let me just show you the picture that she sent me that she wanted me to look like. Well, I mean, obviously she knew you weren't going to come home looking like Chris Hemsworth. I, that he, I've i been told he's my doppelganger. No. No, no, I no. But it was something I can't You got that. Did you, did you see you get in a comment on a TikTok video? You got someone called out your doppelgangers from a TV show called Bull. See, but I didn't know if they were talking about you or me because I don't know what Bull is. Well, neither do I. So like, how do you know it's me? Because he said Jordan looks like a guy from Bull. Oh, did he? Yeah, he had, he like clarified the comment. He edited the comment. So congratulations. Well, that's cool. I hope he's a good looking guy. I couldn't find him. He told me the episode, and I just couldn't find. I him. I don't know, but it's. I mean, he's. He, oh, she. I think she might have sent me this picture. See, so it's like I. I went a little bit shorter up top, so I could obviously I can't pull off a Chris Hemsworth. We're not saying you could. The dude or is should, just by the way. unbelievably attractive. Unbelievably talented. He's everything I'm not. He's everything any man wants to be, though. But, yeah, but then also I felt like the chin hair really just kind of went with the mullet. I felt like it was kind of a mullet look. It Without was. the mullet, I can't just have this. No. i got to have all of it, and I can't grow all of it. Can I just say something? Yeah. You look nice. It's. I think it's a nice look. It's a little bit more... You're a little bit more presentable. It's a little bit more like businessy, a right. little bit more like classy. Yeah. The mullet was a little like, we're trying to just mix Trashy. it up. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of trailer parky, which By I was kind way, of going if there's for. anything wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> but it feels weird. My neck and my head is cold now in the back. Really? I'm just saying. I'm just, yeah, it's I'm, not. It's not. I don't I'm think trying you to, You know anything. what I mean. But I get it. It's sad. It really is. It's, it's, I, I, I was a mullet for about six months. Is that how Probably long more, last? actually. It felt like longer. Yeah. I mean, it felt like a lifetime, honestly. We'll see. If I don't like this and I want to go back, I'll just grow it back. <laughs> Part of the reason why I cut it, too, is because I knew you never would do it. Yeah, but that's the thing is that I was already on my way. No, you weren't. I think you should now that I'm not. I'm halfway there. <laughs> You're not even close. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you got? I mean, I gave you one, then we did a call guessing scale would you want to give me one i'm going to give you one of these yeah give me one of those why don't i give you i want you to tell me what nfl player i'm talking about okay it's not dawson <laughs> it's probably not going to be dawson knox again okay out of boston which he's not he's not no he's out of old miss 
All right, this player was drafted out of Delaware. Okay. That's helpful. Yep. You know it? Yep. You going to rip it? Yep. Joe Flacco. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Let's go. I was going to hold off on that because it's kind of a, I mean, it's a unique yeah, school. Yeah, very. It would have been shocking if I was wrong. I would have had no clue otherwise. So I, I thought about giving you 2008 zero Pro Bowls in Browns. But, okay. And Browns current? 2008 Browns current. I probably still. I you may have, been have like, who's old enough to be out of 2008? I might have still guessed it. He was like a first round pick. He was number eighteen overall to Ravens. Yeah. There you go. There's a there's a zero qu- Pro Bowls. Yeah, zero Pro wow. Bowls. Wow, he's got a ring. There's our quickest vid of all time. That might be our quickest vid. I didn't even meet you in the one minute that they like. But maybe we'll extend it. Who knows? Nobody's getting shot tonight. Has nobody been shot? Yeah, because you got Wiggins first try. Um what do you want to do? A guess who? Let's do a guess who. Okay. Let me think for a minute. Can I? Yeah, you can. Okay. Okay, I got mine. Okay, hold on. All right. I got mine. Okay. I got evens. You got odds. <laughs> Let me guess first. Please. Is your player... A basketball player. No, he's not. Is your player a hockey player? <laughs> no. So is your player an NFL player? Yeah. Thanks. Is your player an NBA player? No. <laughs> you suck at this game, I swear. <laughs> okay, so NFL. Is he active? Yeah. Is your player an NFL player? Correct. Okay, wow. Double NFL. Okay, is your player... Uh, is he in the playoffs? He is. Okay. Is your player in the playoffs? No. Okay. Is your player a running back? No. Is your player a quarterback? Yeah. Okay. He is. Okay. Is your player a quarterback? No. Okay. Your player's not. Okay. Is your player... You probably don't know. (laughs) So I won't even ask. <laughs> I'm just going to guess one because I just feel okay. I'm feeling hot tonight. Is your player Justin Herbert? No, incorrect. Okay. Okay, is your player a wide receiver? Yep. Um Is your player in the NFC? <laughs> if you don't I'm just going to say no cuz you don't know? No. Okay. Okay, I'm going to guess, is your player Mike Evans? Yeah, baby. I mean, I can read you like a damn book, dude. You're so damn simple. How do you do it? I'm just, we were just watching the Bucks take down the Eagles. So I figured, okay, is he going to give me Godwin or is he going to give me Mike Evans? I went with Mike Evans first. Oh, that was my thought process there. I knew you were going to give me Devonte. I could have. You could have, but you didn't. Okay, so I get one shot. You get one shot. You didn't ask a lot of good questions. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> I got a I got a quarterback who's not in the playoffs. That's all you've got. I don't even know if he's active, do I? You don't know anything. Nevertheless, I'm going to guess one. Go ahead. Joe Burrow incorrect you my player was mike vick oh not even active no because you course, didn't even ask he's not even, of course he's not in the playoffs right of course he's not in the afc or did you ask nfc i asked nfc so no he's not he's not on any he's not on either no, you idiot a, that's why you knew that right damn it dude you, you suck i'm bad i've never gotten one gone that no you're you're over i've never beaten you on that all right dude I want you to guess the NBA player. All right, give it to me. All right, this player was drafted in 2012. Okay, so that's within my wheelhouse. Suppo- well, actually, those are my dark years. Right. So you did that on purpose? Wait, no, because this is before you leave on your mission. No, it's not. Well, the draft is in the summer. I left in 2011. Oh, yeah. So this is a dark year. This is okay. We're this shooting is tough. At, we're shooting from the hip. 
Um, I'll give you your best clues. He was drafted number two overall to the Bobcats. Okay. <laughs> then he went to Kentucky. <sighs> Those are your best clues. It's only going to get worse from there. Say them again. 2012, Kentucky, number two overall to the Bobcats. Those are my best clues right now. Mm-hmm. I believe so. Because you already know the All-Stars answer. So that's not even a clue at this point. It's just a fact that you're getting before you take a shot. All-Stars, is it helpful? No. Damn it. 2012 out of Kentucky, and he went to the Bobcats, number two overall. So this is when they were the Charlotte Bobcats. That's right. <sighs> A bonus clue would That'd be great. Be Kentucky had number one and two that year. You remember who one was? Do I? Yeah. Oh yeah. So was this this might be a stupid guess. Demarcus Cousins? That's wrong. I didn't even have a bullet. <laughs> I'll take it all day, baby. Tell me this, was that a stupid guess? Because I think he was drafted. I don't think it was a stupid guess, but I think he's older than that. That's what I thought. Yeah. All right. His last team he played for was in 1920, COVID year. 1920? And he... 1920. Played for the Heat. You're an idiot. Why? You're saying 1920. In 2019, 2020. 1920. I thought you were saying literally no the year 1920. Okay, say that again. Restart His that. His last clip. playing time came for the Heat in 2019-2020 season. So he only played eight damn years. Yeah. So he's bad. He's not good. Okay. I have to believe you'll remember the name at least. Dun, 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 remember the name. Who sings that? Is that Dr. Dre? No. Oh, that's Lincoln Park. That's Mike Shinoda. Yeah. Mike Shinona. How do you say it? I think he had it right the first time. Fifty hmm. percent power, seven percent name, ten percent. Hundred percent reason to remember, remember the, the name. name. That's the song. Okay. Twenty twelve. Kentucky. Bobcats. Heat. Heat in 2020. This is bad. I don't. This is such a bad I year don't know if for I me, could get dude. This either honestly, I mean, <laughs> great. I remember the player clear as day because he was good. He was after number two overall. Obviously, he's good, but yeah, I cannot think of Kentucky. Who played with? I don't even know who played with Anthony Davis. Are you gonna give me position? I can now or later. I mean, I'll give it to you now. Okay. Um, I believe shooting guard small. He's not. He's not big. I'll con- I can confirm though. Oh, so he's small power. So he's bigger than I thought. This is probably a stupid guess. Lance Stevenson. <laughs> That's wrong. You know he didn't go to Kentucky. Where did he go? Cincinnati. Oh yeah. Is Wasn't already- it about that time? Seems like that was. Uh, yeah, he was like 20, 10, 11 draft. All right, you already know the you already know the last clue. Is zero all stars. I have nothing right now. <laughs> is it? This could be this. I may be able to give you his first name, and you still wouldn't get it. Maybe. So what are you doing here? It's a number two overall pick. I mean, I, mean, I thought you could. I thought you might be able to of win. my dark year. Oh, I know yeah. nothing about what happened in sports those years. Yeah, I haven't gone back and watched. No, give me his first name, Michael. <laughs> Michael, there's so many damn Michaels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is. What's his last name start with? K. Michael Kid Gilchrist. That's right. <laughs> Holy shit balls. <laughs> so you remember him somehow. Yeah, I know his name. Okay. 
I didn't know he was a number two. I knew he was a low draft pick. I didn't know he was out of Kentucky. I'll tell you that. You didn't. No, that's a toughie. It is tough. Michael Kidd Gilchrist. <laughs> what a bomb that guy was. He was. Oh, yeah. So damn I actually bad. think, weirdly, he was he was on the all-rookie team. So, it started out pretty good. Maybe he started off decent. But that was downhill from there. <laughs> Some injuries sprinkled in there, but still. Oh, yeah. All right. Maybe we do a, a little chain link. Do you want to do chain? Do you want to do chain link or fast money? Which one? Let's do one of each. But let's do a chain link. Okay. You want to do it on yours? On mine? Yeah. What do I'm you just. Mean? I'm worried that that's what screwed the audio last time. Is that it was like kicking? It was trying. How to- am I going to do it on mine? How am I going to record my screen? Oh yeah, shit. You can't. I mean, actually, yeah, you can. Yeah, you could. That's true. Obviously, you can swipe down and record your screen. How do you record on here, though, actually? I don't know. I know how to do it on my phone. Do you know how to do it? I mean, do you know how to do it? Well, yeah, you swipe. It's just for me. It's the same as phone. No, it's not on there, though. It's just not even on there? No, so where would it be under? Would it be under... Um, displ- would it be under Control Center, maybe? Yeah, seems right. Screen recording, there we go. Okay, so what do I... T- how do I get there? I just texted myself. If you go to the text, you should see that link there. While you do that, I'm going to just peek at the recording. Here we go. Chain link, chain link, chain link, chain link. All right, let's do a little bit of chain link. We've got cowboy hat. You got to tap a a wager. Should we start with cowboy hat? Cowboy hat seems right. Where's the keyboard? (laughs) There's no damn keyboard. There it is. Okay, there it is. Cowboy hat. Bingo. Easy. Hat trick. Trick. Give me that. We might just cruise through this. What does it want? Like a double tap? Definitely doesn't want that. How did you get? Oh, okay. T-R-I-C-K. Trick question. Hey. This is just a damn joke. We're feeling it here. U E S T I O N question mark. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, this might have been this might have been the easiest shit we've ever done. Feel those good vibrations. Dun, 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 dun. And that is how it's done, baby. <laughs> Suck on them apples. What does Shooter McGavin do? Doesn't he put it back? Yeah, he and puts his it holster. Back. Yeah, he holsters it. So there's that. Uh, just a simple. I mean, we didn't even. Ha- I didn't even have to think about those. We didn't have to think about that. That's the easiest one we've ever had. I like that a lot. Okay. I like it so, easy. So there's that. There you go. There you have it. Now what do you want to try? Is it your turn? No, I think it's your turn. Well, I mean, is it your turn to get shot? No, it's your turn to get shot. Why? Oh yeah, it's my turn to get shot. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and do. I want you to tell me who this NBA basketball player is. Okay. Okay. I want you to guess the NBA player. Wait, I just gave you a guess the NBA. Okay. So how why about you I give me you an NFL champ? Why don't, why don't you guess the NFL champ? AKA Super Bowl champ. Correct. Your first clue, your MLB campeones were the Bravos of Atlanta. Okay. Does that help? I can't, I, Feels like they only have two, maybe? Your NBA number one draft pick was Joe Smith. Joe Smith. (laughs) I mean. Not Joseph Smith. Not Joseph Smith. Joe. He specifically wanted to go by Joe. Joseph Smith, in case of those who don't know who that is, he's the founder of the Marmons. He's that Marmon guy. Yep. Okay, and let's go ahead and give you 
the one of the top songs at this time was Gangsta's Paradise. <laughs> As I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, I was like, look at my own. Okay, I, I think I know this. I hope I'm right because it's kind of funny who this is because they can't win another one. Dem boys, the Cowboys. <laughs> you know what year this 95. was? Ninety-five. The ninety-five Cowboys. Let's well, the last the last Super Bowl they've got. This was obviously the the Super Bowl was played in nineteen ninety six, but it was the ninety five season. Right. So let's see. Do you know who the NHL goal scorer leader would have been? Steve Eiserman. Yadamir. Jager. Jager. Meister. Jager. Mick Jagger. Top movie. One of them. I didn't put the no, top, no, no, but one of them. One I of the put, top movies, Batman. I think it would have been Batman Begins. Yeah, Batman Begins. This one I gave you was seven. Oh, what a film. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> he can't take it. We might have just spoiled it. Sorry. If you haven't seen seven by now, what are you doing? And by the way, it's still good even if you know. Oh, my God. Even if you know what happens. You can watch it literally once a month and be fine. You'll be just fine. You'll appreciate it. Wow. Dude. You're not getting shot tonight. Have I? You I, have. Wait, what did I get shot for? No, I don't think you have. I don't think I've been shot yet. That's nice. That's something. I've been shot a few times. Yeah. All right, dude. I want you to guess. All right, dude. I want you to tell me who won the NBA championship this year. I'm not going to know it. Are <laughs> right, your MLB champs the same year were the Cardinals? Okay. You got some, I mean, they've got some rings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your top movie is The Prestige. It's a damn good oh movie. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. Sport, we're not going to spoil that one. See it. And your one of your top songs is... Does that make me crazy? That's nice. I mean, CeeLo Green. That's nice. So it is. Let me have the San Antonio Spurs. That's wrong. Shit. All right. Your NHL goal leader. Sorry, your NHL MVP was Joe Thornton. My guy. Of the Sharks. Okay, this has to be the Los Angeles Lakers. That's wrong. Oh, shit. Why can't I think of who this is? I don't know. Where are you circling? What years are you circling? Oh, here? it's right around that 2006, 2007. All right. Your NFL number one overall pick was Mario Williams. I mean, you're circling years. Mario Williams is not helping you, I don't think. Unless you remember him at oh. NC State. Who would have won the damn championship this year? Is something clicking? I feel like I should know this. Well, yeah, you will know it. So you guess what? The Spurs and Los Lakers. Those are good guesses. I mean, you're within five years. I'll give you that. This has, I don't know. I'm going to guess the Boston Celtics. That's wrong. This is your boy Shaq. In the Miami heat. heat. This was Dwayne Wade. His first ring. 2006, though. Yep. Why couldn't I think of that? I don't know. I, I knew think Spurs I was, was 07. I think you, you knew that. Lakers would have been right there, too. Kobe won one. Lakers would have started. They had two. They had the 2000, the, like the first 99, 2000, 2001. Then they had 2010, 11. I thought Kobe. He's only got five rings. Yeah. Oh, frick. Yeah, dude. That's too bad. It, it really is. is. Okay, where do you want to go? All right, I think we go guessing scale. You guess me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not I'm not feeling it tonight. You're not. Okay. After that shit show that just happened. Yeah, well that's sports. This is just things. 
All right. I got my item. Guessing scale. Let's see how long it takes you. You really have it. I do. I have it. Okay, let's start off with celery. A one? Okay, so nothing. Nothing. Okay. Let's go next to a heater. A heater? Yeah. Five? Okay. Let's go ahead and take it up a notch here. Let's go with a tractor. A tractor. Did you tell her the tractor story? <laughs> a two. I'm nowhere. You're nowhere. You're not even on the right planet. Give me a chicken. <laughs> what did I give you for celery? One? One. Okay. Why don't you give me a wedding ring? Ten? That's something. For you, yeah. Why don't you give me a box of chocolates? <laughs> Five. Okay. Why don't you give me a computer? Computer. Computadora. Ten. Why don't you give me a football? Ten. Why don't you give me... I don't know. Why don't you give me a shower? (laughs) Forty? Why don't you give me oil? Oil. Okay. Forty? Why don't you give me... Okay, why don't you give me a toilet? Forty? I'm just sniffing 40s. Yeah, you are. (laughs) Okay, what about rain? Rain? (laughs) Give me rain, locking it in. 20? Okay. Why don't you give me a sink? 41? (laughs) Oh, gosh. (laughs) No, 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 I'm actually going to give you 50 on that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Just give me a kitchen. 25. Just give me a bathroom. 48. I'm nowhere right now. <laughs> um. Why don't you give me the ocean? Ten. It's not a body of water. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing right now. It's not. But shower, toilet, and sink were in the 50s, so that's why I'm thinking something liquid. Okay, I see where you're going there. That's why I went to rain. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I would have given you 50s if it was rain if you said shower and toilet. Why don't you give me a water bottle? 32. Um, what about apple juice? Five? Shit. So you don't consume <laughs> this. I got a feeling. <laughs> I mean, is it an object? I can't ask that. No, it's, I not, mean, I, it's not a yes or no. That's right. It's a number. Yeah. I mean, it's a guessing scale. <laughs> it's a junior mint. <laughs> um, okay, let's try something else. <laughs> I don't know, though. Let's try a tree. <laughs> I'm five. I don't know where you're at. I don't know where you're at. I'm nowhere. You need to get back indoors. Okay. Why don't you get back indoors? How about a kitchen table? 12. How about a bed? 18. Uh, what about a refrigerator? 12. What about... What about a hose? 
I have no 12. Idea. I got nothing on this. Dude. What about carpet? 17. <laughs> this is terrible. Um, what about... Where's your best clothes right now? The bathroom. So why don't you get back there? How about a shaver? <laughs> 61. How about a toothbrush? 79. How about toothpaste? 79. What about cologne? 69. How about mouthwash? 69. You love that number. I do. Um, what about Febreze? 50. Shut up. What about a two or what about a, uh, a flosser? 79. What about fingernail clippers? 84. Really? Okay. Fingernail clippers are up there. What about a, what about a, um, what about a Q-tip? 69. What about a cotton ball? 69. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what about some toilet paper? 49. How about a towel? 42. <laughs> I, I mean, this is terrible. <laughs> it's not good. I mean, what else could be in the bathroom? How about a razor? 70. How about hair clippers? 90. Three. Okay, so it's got to be, I think I've got it. This has to be a comb. 100. That's I what's up. I should have known because you were basing it off what I did today. Right. They used a comb to cut my hair. They did. They did. He did. And clippers. You used clippers. You used, I was going to guess gel. Gel would have given you a pretty high score, too. Yeah. I'm trying to get you to come. Man, that's going to suck. That was a lot of guesses. <laughs> that was a lot of guesses. That's going to be a bitch to edit. Good luck. That's yours. <laughs> I'm not touching that. No way. I'm not touching that. <laughs> okay. Um, what else you got? <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> well, I got to do a new NFL number one pick. Why? <laughs> because of you. <laughs> oh, no. You did him. You did Mario 2006. <laughs> Mario, as some people say, which drives me nuts. Because the, the clues would have been the same. Yeah, right? but you know what I hear when people say Mario and Luigi? What? That's just not right. It's no. not how you say it. It's Mario. Right. You know what I'm talking about. Who says it, though? You know. I don't. You know. I don't want to say it out loud. Well, then, but. <laughs> you know? I didn't get it. They, they they say Mario, and it drives me up the wall. Why do they say that? Because of where they're from. Okay, well then, what's the? That's not a problem. It's a problem. It's fine. <laughs> so they, you, do they get mad at people from Boston saying Boston sucks? I hope not. Okay, then why are you getting mad at them for saying Mario? <laughs> everyone says Mario. Not everyone. Anyways, where are we at? I don't have an NFL number one pick now. So you've lost that. That's yeah, totally so that's out. off the. That's off. Just the take table. it off the table. Yeah. All right, dude, I want you to guess this NFL player. Okay. This player has been on four teams total so far in his career. I hate when you mix up the clues. He's drafted in 2008, and he's been to zero Pro Bowls. You don't even give me worries. You give me shit clues. Is that shit clues? I mean, what is that? <laughs> 2008, zero Pro Bowls, and four teams. That could be anybody. Yeah, that's you're, true. I don't have the gun either. You're a joke, dude. I think you'll still get this if it makes you feel any better. The reason I had, as a reason, I had to give you shit clues. No, there's. It would have been too easy. 
2008, four teams, zero Pro Bowls. Thanks. <laughs> what a joke, dude. I mean, give me a damn college or something. <coughs> oh, man. You know what I mean? Tell me if he's current. Who was drafted in 2018? I think it's in 2008. No, 18. <sighs> that changes things so a little something. bit. That's something. This is your boy, Baker Mayfield. Wow! Damn straight. <laughs> you got to be more clear when you speak. I said 2018. I was like, why are you bitching about it? You're going to get this. I heard 2008. No, I wouldn't give you eight. So I'm sitting here looking at, okay, that could be anybody. Literally. 2018 is a different story. Right. That's like, that's only five seasons. We're talking you- Cleveland. Then we're talking Rams. Then we're talking... Carolina and the Buccaneers. Right. Buccaneros. Los Buccaneros. See, you had that, dude. I was going to give you I was going to give you currently on the Bucks. And I was going to give you played college stadium was Gaylord of you're Family <laughs> Memorial Stadium. You just like to try and make me look stupid. That's all you do on <laughs> no, the show. No. If it's an easy player where the main regular clues were to give it away instantly. You're a joke. Then I'm going to switch it up. I'm not giving you number one overall to the Browns. I'm That's not asking joke. for that. Let me give you this. I want you to tell me the NBA player. Okay. This player was drafted in 2003. Okay. He's been to zero All-Stars. And the last team he played for was the Cavs. Suck on that. Suck brick, kid. This is J.R. Smith. <laughs> Incorrect. Damn it. That would have been awesome if that was right. I don't think that's even the right. J.R. Smith was not drafted then. and I I didn't know. I know you don't. I'm going to check. I want to see how stupid you are. <laughs> Watch. It's like the year he was drafted. <laughs> Yeah, you're damn close. 2004. <laughs> I knew it. You knew you were close. I knew I was close. But he is a oh, he's a CBA All Star. Anyways, that's not your guy. Nope. This player was drafted out of Clifton J. Ozen High School. That's actually helpful. He's out of high school. <sighs> yeah, but it's 2003. Out of high school. That's right. Ah, Clifton, can you give me, can you tell me what state that's in? That high school? Beaumont, Texas. Clifton J from Beaumont, Texas. (laughs) Yeah. Two thousand three. I mean, if he's drafted at a high school, that's tell. That's yeah. Something. But this is the LeBron. This is LeBron, Mello, Wade, Bosh. Right, right. right. Um, Amari. Is this Amari? No. Oh, dude, I know who I know this, but it's just not coming to me. So I'm gonna guess Andrew Bynum. Incorrect. <laughs> you got a big old bag of darts. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hopefully, this is my best clue. His draft. It's not great. He was drafted number 27 overall to the Grizzlies, but traded on draft night to the Boston Celtics. 2003 Celtics. Yeah. Gosh. Is he on that? Is he on the big three team still? Maybe. I'll give you that. Yeah. He's a champ. He's a champ. But it's not one of the big three. So. This isn't Kevin Garnett. (laughs) He's at a Farragut Academy. And he's not, he's like 90. High school, though. But he's like 90s. Yeah. Uh, 
twenty uh, seventh overall. That's definitely not gonna ring a bell <laughs> <laughs> to the Grizzlies, but gets traded to the Celtics. He's out of high school, dude. I'm just trying to rack my brain. You're who's, racking. Who's on that 2008 team? It's Paul Pierce, Rondo, Kevin Ray Garnett, Sean. Ray Allen. Kevin Gar- I mean, Ray... Rajon's Kentucky, so it's not Rajon. He had zero All Stars. He's kind of a bum. Rajon was not a bum. No, I'm talking about the guy you're giving me. Oh. It's I mean it's a household like it's a name. Everyone knows who he is. Yeah. He played a long career. Played 15 seasons in the league. 2000. Ah, uh, dude, I hate the clock. I hate that clock ticking. It is clicking or ticking. I hate it because it's feel like if I just had no, t- if I had unlimited clock, I could think of it. But I'm gonna go Darko Milicic. Incorrect. Right draft though. Yeah, right draft. He's number two. Right. This was your boy Kendrick Perkins, oh. the big fella. Perk. Yeah, KP. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. You know why I knew it? You didn't know it. Because this is last week and we didn't get to it. You had him? Yeah. I was giving him to you last week. Well, so why didn't you get this? Exactly. That's embarrassing. It is. 100%. Did you get all the clues? Did you write down all the clues No, for I didn't him? write down all the clues. Because when we decided we were only going to do one each, then I stopped writing down the clues. Why That's are we, bad. Why are, we guessing, why are we thinking of the same stuff? I don't know. It's pissing me off. Um, I guess we were thinking of the same eras, and he's yeah. a known player from that draft. Yeah, that wouldn't that'd be tough to guess. Okay, so what do we got now? Hey, we got to guess who. Another one. Another one. Another one. All right, let's do another guess who. All right. I'll start this time. Well, let me think of my player, please. Okay, I got mine. <laughs> you got odds. <laughs> I got evens. <laughs> All right, I got mine. Okay, is yours an NBA basketball player? Nope. Is yours an NBA basketball player? Yep. Is yours an NFL player? Nope. Is yours active? Yep. Is yours an MLB player? Yes, sir. Okay. Um... Does your player play in the Western Conference? Yep. Does your player play in the AL? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking of my next question. Is your player a big man? No. Is your player an outfielder? Yeah. Okay. Um... Is your player a point guard? No. Is your player in it? Is your player an all star? Yeah. Is your player Devin Booker? <laughs> <laughs> what? What the fuck? I don't know. How? You're simple. Oh Here's my God! You had nothing. Man. You had no position. I guess you. Had, I guess you knew active, process of elimination. Active Western Conference, not a big man or a point guard. You think of the best shooting guards. Bingo, bango. Oh my God! You didn't even ask if my guy was active or not, so you have no idea. <laughs> Is your guy Ken Griffey Jr.? No, but I like the guess. Okay, that's my guy. Right. My player was Barry Bonds. Big boy Barry. I'm never going to be good at that game. I'm really good. I just hone in on you. How do you do that? I don't know. That's bullshit. (laughs) That's a bullshit. I'm going to be thinking of harder players, dude. Trust me. Okay. I can do that too then. Brainiac. (laughs) (laughs) 
All right, do you want to do a – should we do another, what you call it? Chain link. Or guessing. You want to do a, a fast money. How do I get there? Just go to my text chain again. And just... Well, that's chain. Do you want me to do a chain? Or no, if... there's. but if you scroll up, because I sent you the link. To what? Fast money. You send it to me or, or, or to Or I send you? it to me. I send it to myself. So if you hit in there, fast money, you'll see the fast money link. Family feud surveys. Yeah. Okay, and then what? Then I, I gotta change the. Yeah, you gotta change the date. What should I do? What's t- what does twenty three eight mean? Does that mean Just August. Just do like twenty three one. Try twenty three one. That's no good. <laughs> Let's try another one. Okay. Let's try two. Okay. That says page not found. Yeah. So what should we do? Go back to twenty three eight and try twenty twenty eight. What? Try twenty eight instead of twenty three eight. So I think it's season twenty episode, and then the the second one's the episode. I think. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds good. So let's do this. All right. So we'll do. Um, what you got? So we'll do five of them, right? Five. The first five. First five. Okay. Let's play a little bit of fast money. Money, 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 money. Are you trying to get are a, you a hun- communist? Are you trying to get a hundred points? You want to go for higher than a hundred? What are you trying to do here? I think we go for one fifty. You want to try one fifty? All right. Your first one. Name something dogs do to people that people wouldn't do to dogs. Dogs do to people. That people wouldn't do to dogs. Jump up on them. Okay. <clears throat> Your second one. Name something a drunken guy might do just like a dog. Pee on the street. Okay. Or pee outside. Your know. third one. Name a way you might know someone is dead rather than just sleeping. Pulse. Okay. Your fourth one. Name something Colonel Sanders likes to put on his chicken and his lover. Spices? Okay, spices, you say. (laughs) You think he's putting spices on his lover? I like it. Okay, your last one. A man learns the hard way never to tell his wife that she's too what? Fat. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's see how you did. Let's tally it up. Why don't you tally it up for me? Yep. Okay, your first one. Name something dogs do to people that people wouldn't do to dogs. You said? Uh, Jump up on them. Jump up on them. There's got to be something you can give me here. I'm going to give you zero points there. Your number one answer? Lick them. Yeah. I mean, that's obvious. You also had sniff their butts. But, But they don't do that to people. You have bite. Slash nip their ankles, pee on them, bark at them, be forever loyal, hump them, beg for their food. Yeah, that's... I can't give you any points. You really can't. That's bad. <laughs> okay, your second one. Name something a drunken guy might do, just like a dog. You said... Pee on the... Pee outside. That is the number one answer for 54 points. Okay. Well played. Now we're talking. Okay, your third one. Name a way you might know someone is dead rather than just sleeping. You said... Pulse. No pulse is the number two answer for 19 points. Okay. Your number one was no breath slash movement. Okay. Okay, your next one. Name something Colonel Sanders likes to put on his chicken and his lover. You said? Spices. That's the number three answer for 14. Your number one was sauce slash ranch dressing. Okay. Okay. You put, I actually, that came to my mind first, but I was like, you wouldn't put that on your lover. But you put a spice on her? Well, obviously. Okay. Your last one. A man learns the hard way never to tell his wife that she's too what? You said? Fat. I'll give you massive for the number one answer of 74 points. Ooh, this is going to be close. 161. So you topped 150. Without, with a zero. With a zero spot. With a bagel. Nice. That's well played, my friend. Well played. Oh, yeah. You want to give me one of those, too? Sure, I will. All you got to do is, I mean, you know what to do. I do. That 
I do. All right, let's see if we can get here. Let's see what we can get down to here. All right, dude, you ready for some fast money? How much am I going for here? You're going for 150, right? All right, we're going to shoot for the 150 mark. Yeah, dude, I did it with getting four answers. You can do this. All right, go ahead. All right, fill in the blank. Just about everyone has had their bottom blanked at least once. Licked. Okay. (laughs) You don't don't care about winning these. You just want to sound (laughs) stupid. What's your most seductive feature? My face. Okay. Name something a lonely guy sleeps with at night to get him company. Say that again. Name something a lonely guy sleeps with at night to feel company. I'm going to say a teddy bear. Okay. Number four. Name something a newly divorced woman should get rid of before she starts dating again. Okay, I'm going to say probably her wedding ring. Okay. And the last one, fill in the blank. Bob said, I dated a girl who blanked like a chicken. Who (laughs) talked like a chicken. Okay, talked like a chicken. All right, here we go. Start at the top. Wait, is that one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, okay. All right, fill in the blank. Just about everyone has had their blanked. At least bottom blanked at least once. You said licked. Yeah, licked. I I okay. So wet washed. Yeah, I'm gonna give you that. That's the number four answer for three points. That's something. It's not zero. That is. What true. was the number one? Number one was spanked. Yeah. Eighty points. Oh wow, that's all I needed, huh? Yep. All right. What's your most seductive feature? You said face. You're gonna give me a smile, right? I don't know. I, there's options here. I could I could give you lips, which is the number two answer. That's on your face. Oh yeah. I'm gonna give you that. Smile slash lips is 19 points. Okay. Number one there, smoldering eyes. Oh yeah. All right. Names on the lonely guy sleeps with at night to keep him company. You said teddy bear. Teddy bear's third answer for 11 points. Number one is a dog. Oh shit! I'm not hitting 150. No, you're at 33. That's not good. Name something a newly divorced woman should get rid of before she starts dating again. You said. Wedding ring. Number one for 47 points. So we're in the 70s. You're at 80 even. Oh, okay. Still, that's not good enough. You didn't hit 100. You didn't hit Wait, 100. was that five? Yeah, that was five. No, it didn't. No, it's not. No, it's not. Fill in the blank. Bob said I dated a girl who blanked like a chicken. You I, said. I said talked, but I probably should have said walked. Talked was the number one answer good for 44 so we got 124 you got 124 you don't need the math for that you're close yeah so you're close you that's, just the main one you missed was spanked why did i say licked i don't know i don't know <laughs> oh, God. i mean you're special i'll give you that spanked yeah it's not great it's <laughs> i mean 124 is not bad no, it's not good, though. It's not good. It's not bad. It's neither. Okay, so where are we at now? Is that it? So, let's see. I mean, we did got seven for Mars, right? Because I ruined one of yours. You ruined it. So we've got seven. We did two of these. We did two guess who's. That's 11. We did a chain we link. We did two guessing scales. Okay. And a chain link. So we're money in the bank. Is that what well, so are we at? Is that 14? We're at 14. That's it. That's the episode. That's it right there. Just mark it down. That's it. We didn't get shot a lot tonight. I'll say that. Not I a got, lot. I got shot more than you. You did. Unfortunately. But. But you kicked my ass at guess who? What's up with that? You're terrible at it. <laughs> I mean, it's bad. Well, that's the show. Let's make sure it recorded. Please do sayonara like comment please comment yeah give us some comments huh? follow subscribe we take those to heart hit that follow button like us smash it as if you say. just want to listen by the way you can do that on apple or spotify yeah you can i noticed i didn't actually didn't even know that you were putting these on spotify yeah they're on spotify they're um, on there you can and actually spotify didn't even know I had video they do 
they do a video or audio. If you're just driving oh, around, yeah. just throw us on, put us on 1.5 speed. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>